Two and friends in story time. Come on, it's almost time for Miss Dorothy's class. We can't miss her new story today. It's gonna be so wonderful. Yeah, I want to sit right in the front. Chiku, are you ready for Miss Dorothy's new story? We can sit together and listen to it. It'll be so much fun. Um, but Cha-Cha, I'm saving this seat for Choo-Choo. She's my best friend, and we love sitting together. Oh, um, okay. <gasps> Choo-Choo's here. Here, Choo-Choo, come sit next to me. Oh, wow, I'm so happy we can sit together. Um, okay, guess I'll see you later. Come sit here, Cha-Cha. Miss Dorothy will be here any minute now. Good morning, class. Good morning, Miss Dorothy. Are you ready for today's new story? Ready! Okay, so here we go. The Giant's Garden. Once upon a time, there was a giant who had a little son whom he loved dearly. They lived in a house with a very beautiful garden with trees and flowers and a lovely swing. Children would pass by the garden and ask the giant if they could come in and admire the flowers and play on the swing. But, the giant would chase them away, saying the garden was only for his son to enjoy. As time passed, the giant's son started looking sadder and sadder every day. This worried the giant. How can I make you happy, my son? He asked. Oh, Papa, said the giant's son. It's no fun keeping this beautiful garden only to ourselves. It would really make me happy to see the other kids enjoying it too. And that's when the giant realized how selfish he'd been by saving the garden only for his son. He was depriving other kids of so much joy. And so, the giant went and threw the garden gates open and invited the other kids in. And from that day, the giant's garden became the happiest place for miles around. Wow! What an amazing story, Miss Dorothy! I'm glad the giant realized his mistake. Thank you, Miss Dorothy, for telling us a lovely story! Cha-Cha, I'm saving that swing for Choo-Choo. She's my best friend, and we're going to swing together. But Choo-Choo's not here yet. I can play on it till she comes. He's right, Chiku. It's empty right now. He can play on it. But I just told you, Choo-Choo will be here any minute now, and we've made plans to swing together. Not fair! We also want to have fun! Okay, I guess Chica and I will play something else. Okay, have fun then! There's Choo Choo! Yay! I'm here, Chiku! Let's swing together! One, two, <laughs> look, Chica, that nice seat by the window. 
Pinocchio. It's empty. I think I'll sit there. It'll be so much fun to look outside for a minute. Wow, yes. Go on, take that seat, Cha-Cha. Yeah! Oh, um... Hey, Chiku. Hi, Cha-Cha. Could I take that seat, please? Actually, Cha-Cha, I'm saving this seat for Choo-Choo. She's just over there, talking to Kasli. I told you, we're best friends, and we love to ride home together. But that's not fair, Chiku. What's not fair, Cha-Cha? You saving a seat everywhere, since the morning. You saved that seat in class, you saved that empty swing, and now you're going to save this window seat too? That's it, Chiku. You can't have everything. I'm going to sit right by that window. Hey, no, Choo Choo and I are going to sit by this window seat. Come on, give it to me. me. No, come on. Give it to me. This seat's taken. No, I'm taking it. You can't, Cha Cha. It's reserved. It's taken. It's not taken. You just don't want anyone else to take it. You're just like that giant in the story. Not wanting anyone else to enjoy the good things around. <gasps> oh, no! Is that how I've been behaving? Yes, Chiku. He's right. You've been behaving like the giant in the story. And it's making Cha-Cha feel bad. Oh, no! I didn't mean to make anyone feel bad. I, I guess I was so busy saving the best spots for Choo Choo that I didn't realize how unfair I was being. It's just that Choo Choo and I have so much fun together. And I thought I could show her how special she is to me by saving good spots for her everywhere. I just wanted her to feel special. Aw, Chiku, but I always feel special with you. I know you wanted to show me how special I am to you. But I'd feel special sitting anywhere with you. And look at what I did! To make you feel good, I made my other friend feel bad. Hey, it's okay, Chiku. Oh, Cha-Cha, I'm so sorry I've been mean. And that I made you feel bad today. I want you to know that you are very special to me too. And I promise I'll never be mean to you again. Friends? Friends! <laughs> Cha-Cha, you can have that window seat. Because I want you to know I'm sorry about today. Um, that's really nice of you, Chiku. But there must be a way for all of us to enjoy that window seat. That's a nice thought, Cha-Cha. You know what? We could all take turns every day. And today? It's your turn to sit at the window seat, Cha-Cha. Aw, thank you, Chiku. Yay! Enjoy the view, Cha-Cha! <laughs> and we'll all get our turn to enjoy the view. In the quiet suburb of Scottsdale, there lived a girl named Chiku. One lovely Sunday morning, Chiku's mom was talking to Chiku's dad. Honey, I'm worried because Chiku has gotten into the habit of saying no. No! 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 First it started with food, and now it has crossed over into every single thing. Next month she'll turn six. But her habit of saying no hasn't changed one bit. This is starting to worry me. I'm worried about it too. We thought she would grow out of it. But this has gone too far. It's time we confront her and get the message across loud and clear. It's time she gets a taste of her own medicine. It might be bitter, but it's what's good for her. We'll deal with her soon. 
Chiku has been invited to a birthday party today. Let me go wake her up. Chiku's mom walked to Chiku's room to wake her up. Chiku, wake up, darling. Remember, you have been invited to your friend's birthday party. No! Before her mom could finish, all she heard was a big no. Hmm, okay with me. But don't come crying to me later. A few hours later, Chiku's mom heard a loud yell. Mom! Why didn't you wake me up? I should be at my friend's birthday party by now. Now I'm gonna be late. I'm missing out on all the fun. I did wake you up. And you just screamed no. I'll get ready. Make me something to eat. Chiku got ready and came down. She grabbed a glass of orange juice. She found that mom had toasted a few slices of bread. Ew! Toast again? I'm sick of toast! Make me pancakes, mom! The next moment, mom replied, No. Okay, fine. I won't eat anything. I'll just eat at the party. Suit yourself. Yeah, yeah. It's getting late. Drive me to the party. Chiku's mom replied with a big no. But mom, it's already late. No. Chiku's eyes filled with tears. She sat down in a chair and started to mumble to herself. What's wrong with mom? Why is she doing this? She thought through all the things she had done. Chiku realized that she had done the same thing to her mom. Always saying no to every single thing. Chiku walked up to her mom, hugged her and said to her, Mommy, I realized that I have been a brat. All along, I have said nothing but no for everything. I realize it now and I feel ashamed. I won't blindly say no to everything anymore. And if I do say no, I'll be sure to talk it out with you. Chiku's mom hugged her and said, Aww, I'm glad you have realized that saying no to everything is bad. Yes, we can always agree to disagree, but we have to at least talk about it. I hope I won't hear a blunt no for everything in the days ahead. No, Mom. Now, now, you just said a no. Mommy! That no meant yes! <laughs> I got you. From that day on, Chiku stopped saying no to everything and instead started a habit of talking it out whenever she had to say no.